The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number two, we're going to be working with the equations of a circle. So let's start with letter A here. And we have, given that the center of the circle is 1, negative 2. So remember that the center of a circle is always written as hk. So we have that our center is at 1, negative 2. We want to find x and y if one diameter of the circle has endpoints 3, 1 and x, y. So uh, our line going through uh, 1, negative 2 goes from 3, 1 to x, y. Now the easiest way to do this one is that <clears throat> if you're on opposite uh, sides of the circle for the diameter, whatever transformation you do to bring, to go from the center to one end of the diameter has to be the exact same in the opposite direction to get the other end of the diameter. So what I mean by that is if getting to one end of the diameter you had to go right a certain amount and up to get to the other end of the diameter you'd have to go left and down by the exact same amount. So we can just think about it like that. So our one point that we do know is the center, and we're going to the point 3, 1. And then the other point is the one we don't know, x, y. So let's just think about this in terms of how much you're translating the x and y directions. So here, we're going up 2 in the x, from 1 to 3. And we're going up 3 in the y, from negative 2 to 1. So to get to the other end of our diameter, we would have to start the center and do the opposite. So we would have to go left 2 and down 3. So that would give us negative 1 by subtracting 2 from that, negative 5 by subtracting 3 from our y coordinate. And that would be the other end of that diameter. So letter B says we need to find the radius. Well, the radius of the circle is the distance from the center to the edge. And we already know that one of the points on the edge is 3, 1. Or you could use negative 1, negative 5. So all we need to do is the distance formula from one, between 1, negative 2 and 3, 1, for example we would have a radius then. So the distance formula, remember that you take the square root of, you square the differences, the difference between the x's and the difference between the y's. So the difference between the x's is 3 minus 1. The difference between the y's is 1 minus negative 2. If you want to just think about it as they're 2 apart and they're 3 apart, that's fine. So here we get square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. So we have 4 plus 9, which is square root of 13. So that's going to be our radius, distance from the center to the edge of the circle. And finally, find the general form of the circle. So I'll write out the general form and then plug in what numbers we have. So the general form of a circle is always x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Well, we have all this information. So let's plug in our center first, our hk. We'll have x minus 1 squared. Since our y coordinate is negative, that will make it y plus 2 squared. And since our radius was the square root of 13, the square root of 13 squared is just 13. So that there would be the general form of our circle. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.